Okay, I'm back. Hey, Vinde, what's up, man? Well, we're gonna try to fly with a controller. Let's see here. Now, hopefully my internet will not go out. <laughs> we got some storms here, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just play this music here. Can you hear that music in the background, guys? I don't want it to be too loud. Well, it's quiet now, but... Hang on, let me switch. I don't want it to be too loud. Ah, oh, sick for two days? That sucks, man. That's too bad. All right, I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing with the controller, guys. I I don't play console games, and I I don't use controllers on PCs. So I, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I don't want to get my two sticks out. So let's see. Hang on. Oh, Enigma's AFK. All right. All right. Is that music too loud? Bump it down a little bit. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna go, but let's uh let's try it. All right. What's my my menus? I don't have a. Uh, how do I? What the hell? What? How do I free look? Oh, no! I gotta use the keyboard to look around? Okay. Docking coupler disengaged. Depart when ready, Commander. Uh oh oh no we're in trouble here this is a no fire zone power down weapon systems immediately okay, up down damn okay so what's forward? What is forward? Let's see. Oh shit! Oh god damn it! Yeah, I don't know what forward is. <laughs> uh, how do I go? Oh, I see. Oh shit, no! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We gotta get out in the open, guys. Damn, that was close. Okay. So it's okay. Turn. Then that's speed. Oh, I see. So all the okay. You have exceeded the station exclusion zone. Watch your six, Commander. They're not going to blow me up, are they? Okay. 
Then we got speed. Boost is what? B? So, a mouse, flying with a mouse is actually, I guess if you get used to it, it's actually not bad. Okay, multi cannons. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. First laser. Chaff. How do I switch weapons? Is it? Hang on. I'm gonna balance it. Ah, dang it, I keep shooting. Primary's multi cannon and burst laser. Oh, that's working. It's working. Okay. Now, how do I switch my. Hang on, how do, how do we switch our web, our fire groups? Boy, using a controller sucks. Uh, okay. Weapon, cycle next fire group A. Okay, so A. A. B is to cancel, A is to switch weapons. All right, there we go. So kill warrant scanner. Burst laser. Just one of them. And bam, let him blast him with the two of them. All right. Kill warrant scan. That. Okay, now, how do we navigate? Um... The back is hard points. We're tracking into uh, deploying hard points is back. The question is, how do we do the, the navigation? Because I have to be able to I have to be able to target things. Let's see, targeting. Select target ahead is Y. Okay. So why? All right, cool. Okay, why? All right. So A is switch weapons. That's deploy. Okay. And then switch start. Okay, so we just have to navigate. What's to disengage hyperdrive? Maybe we'll practice here. Right, so we gotta learn we gotta learn how to engage and disengage. What is V? What are they? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what V is.
Engine boost is B. This will engage the FSD to perform hyperspace jump first. Uh, okay. So I gotta use the keyboard for that shit. Head look, RS click, right stick click, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Right stick and click. No? That's not working, what the hell? I don't know, man. I think this is going to go badly. We're going to try this out here. Like, I need a third hand to hit my keyboard. people do this. We don't want the hazardous site. Oh, my mouse isn't doing anything. Oh, crap. I hope my keyboard's gonna work. I might just have to use the mouse. Do I just hit A? Should have came up and down. Oh, 
Oh no. What's the What's the button to get out of a uh, super cruise? That's none of those. No. Oh god. Okay, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do it. Nope. I'll figure it out later. Controls. Yeah, I can't do that. That's just too much. Too, too much. Hey, Zay! Come here for a minute. No! <laughs> I would like you to come get this controller. I'm not playing with that. It's too much. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I, I can't. With a game that has so many... So many different screens and things to go through, I can't do that. I'm not doing PvP, so whatever. Okay. Let's see what we got on contacts. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh, that's a good guy. That's a good guy too. You gone? Alright, he's wanted. So they're offline. It sucks that you were sick though, Vindate. Are you feeling any better now? Check this guy out. You wanted? He's dangerous. Let's 
scan him down. He's wanted. See, I don't, okay, so here's the thing. I don't want to get a bounty on me. It seems like every time I, I attack first, even if they're wanted, I get a bounty. Urge detected. Oh, and he's gone. Damn it. All right. Five contacts lost. By who? He's clean. Hey, Dark, what's going on, man? Wanted. Master, okay. How you doing, dude? Oh, shit. Emily's deploying hard points. Try not Eve, really? Thirty-eight thousand credits. Nice. Eva's not a bad game. Eva's not a bad game. I don't know what you're gonna think about the contact or the combat, though. Hey, before what's going on?
Let me know what you think about Eve. I'm, now, if you've never played it before, it's got a, a steep, steep, steep learning curve. Uh, he's clean. Oh, did you? I understand that. Yeah, no, I believe me, I get you. Right now, I'm a little burnt out myself. Ah, oh, he's gone. Is he? Is, he, is that him? Oh, he's there. Watch, watch me get a bounty. I got a pretty good character on Eve. Not very long, man. Not very long. I played for a while, uh, a little while back, and I come back every now and then. I'm just practicing. Um, then this vulture. Never had a never had a ship quite like this. I tried playing with a controller, that didn't work very well. <laughs> Is there an all stop button? I like coming back to this game every now and then. You know, it's... I wish I could get far enough in to actually, uh... Far enough in to actually make it more of a main game. Oh, is there an anaconda? Hang on. The shields are down, right? Now see, she's wanted, so I better not get freaking hit by this. thousand credit yeah man I know dude I've been looking at some of the notes uh, for the things that are coming out yep now when you say accessible do you, do you mean, I don't know anything about this but do you know or do you mean it is, it's coming out on Xbox one or has it already been out or are you referring to like 
the multi crew, uh, the character creator, various things like that. fired on who? So he's wanted. Oh, well shit. Well, damn it. All right. I gotta get out of here. I don't know where the fighting's go. Fighting's at. <laughs> B4, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that, man. I, I'm I'm sure B4 was not what you were going for with your name. I, you know, a little slow with the with the Twitch name sometimes. All right. Are you clean? He's clean. All right, he's clean. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. All right, here we go. I'm just trying not to get a fine. That's my goal for right now, tonight, is to come out here and not get a fine. Oh, so I have to, it's, okay, so it's not the close range scan. I actually have to physically kill warrant scan them. Like this, right? It says wanted, but I have to physically scan them myself, huh? Wow, I've lost millions because of that. Shit, where'd he go? Fuck it. It's like Star Wars up in here. Damn! <laughs> I have... Dude, B, I have no idea. I don't know what I've joined. I'm at a res site. I'm at a res site. Yeah, I don't know. He's deadly. wanted. Nah, I think this is just a res site. He's, I, I mean, I don't know if I should go after him. Is that a python? Is he in a python?
I mean, I got enough to replace it. Oh, it does. Add her. Add her, add her, add her, add her. There's add her in the lower left hand corner, by the way. Wait, how am I missing? Oh, I see it. Top of the thing. Alright, let's shoot him. We got the shield generator. Oh, insufficient. Okay. Is he running? Oh, that's okay. No problem. Oh, he ran. Damn it. All right. No, that's cool, man. I learned. I learned. Learned most of what I've gotten so far from fellow elite players or elite veterans. It was haystack. Oh, he's deployed hard points. He's wanted. He's in a natter too. Where'd he go? Oh, congratulations, man. I'm saving for a python. The multi-purpose stuff. Did I lose him? Oh, he's like, he's behind me. Damn! Oh, you gotta be on your toes with this shit, don't you? The shield's down? I'm still trying to learn how to tell if their shields are down. Oh, it'll tell me. is fast paced oh he's like on me dude come on you little bastard Good lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, well, I'm not selling this ship. I want to practice with this ship, because I hear with this ship, if you can get good in this, you know, you can be a pretty good pilot, but, I, so I don't want to sell this ship. So I've got like 30 some mil, uh, at, you know, in my wallet. Oh, I know I shouldn't just sit here, but I mean, I got to take this in bits and pieces. Woo! This is definitely not EVE Online Combat. That's for sure. Good lord. Now, see this stuff like your Indium? 
Like all these parts, war and shield emitters, can I, like, if I have cargo space, can I scoop those up and take them? I wonder. No, I didn't, so I kind of want to keep... So in this game, the space combat, it's... Is it more toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Or like zoom and boom? Like, you know, get past them just like... I don't really know how to explain what I'm asking. Oh, okay. Alright. One sec, just... Getting a little nicotine here. Having a sip of a cold one. Okay, alright. Well... <clears throat> Back to the Python, I was reading that that would make, it's a good multi-purpose ship. I was thinking about learning and mining, learning mining in this game. I was, I was thinking, get that thing's cargo capacity boosted. A little bit, you know. <laughs> How do I tell if my flight assist is on? I could turn it on and off in my right hand panel under functions. Okay. Gotcha. Over NK. Okay. Damn it. Uh, yeah, let me, here, let me try. Oops. Functions. What is hold input mode? Does that mean it's on or? Not really sure what to do with that. Oh, the key bind, okay. Where would the, what would the section would that be under? The flight? Oh, it's Z. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Yeah, we're not going to do that. 
So that's probably for people with like Hotas and sticks and stuff like that, right? What's the best primary target target for a subsystem? Is it shield generator? I do have a Logitech G600 though. I could rebind it. Oh, his shield are back up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, you son of a bitch! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Uh, not on the mouse. Or the mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I do, never mind. So, see, I've got William Shatner with voice attack to help me out, but I, I, I haven't fired it back up for this game. I imagine with voice attack, I'd say, you know, power to weapons, right? But for now, I just use the air directional key, right? Hey, baby, what you doing? Nothing? Okay. Oh, if you take out the power plant, everything shuts off? Okay. So, anything under a Fjord de Lance, maybe? And would you target a power plant of a Fjord de Lance? If I keep playing this more and more, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to switch over the pro, like the profile. You know what I mean? And start using, start using Bill Shatner. So how do I tell what my? Oh, I'm. I don't need to repair right now, do I? Fear the lance can be tough. Okay. Oh, he's three out of three. Uh, 
baby. That's called um, Elite Dangerous. It's a space sim. I'm gonna blow that guy up. He's wanted. Oh, yeah. Damn. 44,000 credits. Cinnamon buns? Yeah, cinnamon buns are good. Yeah. Um, I think it's called Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Yes. Um, it, it's like mint buns. Yeah. They're really good because they put lots of icing. Uh, yeah, I've had one before. They're tasty. Is it icing? Yeah, it's icing. Oh, yeah, like uh, expert, master, deadly, that kind of thing. I have a feeling he's a bad guy. He's wanted. Credits seem a little low today. Oh, we're gonna take him out. Now they've already started shooting him. Do I get a bounty if I kill him too? Or like if. if if I don't scan them, but they've already the police have already started shooting them, and I jump in and shoot them without kill warrant scanning them, do I get a, a bounty? Yeah, I have horizons. Yep, yep. Oh, I can't wait till you can walk around in your ship, man. Hopefully by then I'll have a python. I got some buddies that uh, are going to play Star Citizen with me and uh, we'll see if they want to come check it out. Get him. Oh no, no. Damn, nice. A lot of cops around. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, so the lower left, as long as it says wanted, I'm okay. Oh, shit, all right, so the kill warrant scanner is just to make more money. Okay. Because I swear I, I attacked a wanted ship yesterday and got a fine. I might have shot a cop on accident. That's probably what happened.
All right. Oh. Wait a minute. So these all bound. Okay. Am I like not in a high res? What makes more money, high or low? I'm not going to hazardous. Jesus. I might have picked on the wrong guy. He's pretty fast. Oh no! Damn! So I probably got like a bad spawn on this one, huh? Because they're all small ships, right? Like we want with one with some bigger ships, don't we? Pure to Lance, Anaconda. See, in games like this, I'm not really gonna be a fighter pilot. So this is just something that like I do for fun, just to kind of break up the monotony. But I haven't, I like I I did uh, what was it smuggling? Not with people, but like. Whatever it is, taking stuff that I'm not supposed to take into a station, and making quite a bit of money, but it gets kind of boring, you know. Like I didn't, I don't know if like mining can bring in good money. You know, like if I get my Python, can I make good money doing that? So how do I, how do I respawn this instance? Do I just leave? And then come back in? See, I forgot about that. I forgot that you could just be a pirate. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that you could like recycle, like cycle these uh, spawns. Or do I gotta log out and cycle modes? Cause I can cycle the modes if I need to. Oh, jump out and jump back in. Okay. All right. know anything about mining? I was so disappointed when I found out that those were instances. 
That's okay. I've already really kind of put it out in, in the back of my mind. <clears throat> like, if I get my python, you can help me figure out how to do that? Okay, no problem, Dark. Well, I'm in solo play right now because I'm streaming. Nice, nice, yeah. Well, once, whenever you see me play this, I'll put Python in the title. So if you see Python in the stream title, that means that I, I got that sucker. You buying Elite Dangerous? It's, I think for the combat, you'll like it better, dude. Now, just like Eve, it's really in-depth. There's a lot to figure out. Um, it does a better job of it, though, like, kind of getting you settled in. There's, like, it doesn't feel like, oh, crap, now what do I do? Now, to be fair, though, Eve did do a new player experience, which, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I have found, through messing with this game for a year or so, coming back, you know, playing it, that um, it definitely, it's a deep game. Oh, that's fine, Dark. I'll be here. I'll be here. All right. Now, the trick is not to get a bounty. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Mining. Oh yeah, he's just mining. And he's clean. I should go to Beagle Point. I know what Beagle Point is. That would take me forever, dude. All right, he's clean. Go a little farther in. Yeah, try to try to go to Beagle Point in a vulture. Holy crap! I had an ass, man. I I had some fun seeing some cool stuff. Okay. Where? Where's all the stuff and things? Yep, I sure do. Yep, here in Beam. I use Restream, yep. It's been working pretty good for me so so far. And then I use uh, Restream Chat, Scorp Bot, in both channels. Uh, to and then I and I watch Beam Chat to watch the chat from both websites. So Scorp Bot relays the chat. I only use Restream Chat just to make sure that Beam is showing up, showing both chats, because Restream Chat displays both, or displays the messages twice, right? So I, what I do is I, I have that just peeking out from the uh, my Beam Chat, which only shows it once, with a little icon, you know, uh, let me know where they're at, which site they're on. But I always keep that Restream Chat with the double messages, double posts up, just to make sure that I'm seeing everything. This isn't Hellion? No. No, this is not Hellion, no. Hellion's got a little ways to go. We got clippers and gunships. This is a good spawn? Uh-oh.
It's an elite. Wanted. We got a good spawn. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw that. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, thermal overload. Did you blitz that nice, man? Shit. Nice. Clean. That was good. That was cool. Almost 300k. This vulture has turned out to be pretty nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they kind of can't do anything, can they? That should be the cops. I, that's I knew I, I couldn't go wrong. I knew I couldn't go wrong. That's why I went ahead and, and got it I'm gonna go uh up and get and repair and stuff yeah and see that's the thing I like that I want to get better at, at this ship Oh shit. See, that's and I, I don't have all the upgrades. I, I should probably start looking into that. Yeah, I probably need to start looking into taking advantage advantage of the engineers. So here's a question. When they do walking on ships, is that just ships or can we walk around on a non-atmospheric planet or moon? <clears throat> I 
I also need to find a Federation mission. Hey, do I get Federation standing when I do these res sites? Because I need to get Federation um, a Federation mission to get promoted from uh, Recruit. I'm stuck at 100%. I don't have any males or anything. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, right, I see. Well, I used to slingshot around these destinations. Oh, so bad. Core Dynamics, Tango, Oscar, Mike. Follow all federal docking protocols before attempting to dock. Access granted. Make your way to landing pad 27. Ooh, Simon. Yep, the loop of shame. You got it. Seven. One thousand meters from touchdown. I keep it in control to strafe down like I'm playing Star Citizen. That was a little that was a little rocky, but whatever. You didn't see me bump the pad. Contact. Disembark when ready. Welcome to the facility, Commander. Uh I mean, just I mean, almost a mill.
I don't know how to see. I need that Federal Navy mission. Welcome back, Dark. Um, I heard in 2.3 they're putting like new organics and stuff on the planet surfaces. And then they're adding in the Trappist system. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I gotta check and see if my guy's done processing stuff in Black Desert. Nope, he's still plugging away. Uh, so with the base game... Oh, you didn't miss anything. We just, we just came back to turn our bounties in. So the base game gets you most of the stuff. Um, you just can't land on planets, and I don't think you have the engineer's uh, update. But you wouldn't need to worry about that for a long time anyways. But you can't land on the, on the non-atmospheric planets without uh, horizons, apparently. But, I mean, the base game is enough to actually, you know, get in, play the game, mine, you know, do the, do the missions, you know, do the red site, um, do trading and piracy, PvP, all that stuff. I think on your launcher it'll say like elite dangerous 64 bit or 32 bit and you'll be missing the horizons there's so i think what you do if you want all the uh, that other stuff oh yeah see yeah what b4 says horizons still probably isn't worth a buy until multi crew comes out yeah because what horizons is is it's basically a whole like season worth of, of updates like a whole year or whatever right something like a year worth of patches and updates or expansions I should say whereas with some of these games you gotta you know buy them separately Ah, there's a beluga coming in.
Yeah, he he wrote he rotated around it to land on his pad. You have exceeded the station exclusion zone. FFC signing off. Yeah, there you go. Landable moons, engineers, and ship launched fighters. So I'm sorry. Um, before what's what's the most profitable, low or high, resource, or res sites? I mean, there is something to be said for landing on these moons, you know, it, it's kind of a cool thing to see. Oh, okay. So what does the low and the high mean? Is that how many cops are there? Yeah, and if you like to explore, I think for people that like to explore, like me, um, I think Horizons is worth it. it but it, it is kind of a tease not to be able to land on atmospheric planets, you know? Yeah, yep. So... B4 is um high and low does that mean how many how many NPC cops are there M meaning like if I'm at a high res site I'm gonna have more cops to kind of help you know fight with whereas low it's more likely to be me and just a couple cops or wish I had the 2.3 beta I want to see the inside of my uh, bridge I gotta figure out how to make like 30 mil. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah, I saw some videos on the Python and Fear to Lance uh, set up to, to do those hazardous sites, but they were like fully built out. As in like top tier stuff, you know, like the Python was like worth 170 mil or some shit. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Still one of the coolest sights I've seen in any game is coming into these res sites. 
in the rings, you know? Yeah, I'm going to have to find a Federation, Na a Federal Navy mission then, because I can't rank up. Unless I, well, no, I need the mission, I think. Could I actually come here and mine? I don't want to tangle with him, do I? You think I can take out his his power plant? I don't think I should mess with them. Holy crap. Oh shit. No. He's clean. He's just mining. We need more fighting. A bunch of ships over here, right?
He's clean, let's see. He's wanted. Well, we got him. <laughs> I'll need to repair, probably. These are these are uh, bots. These are bots. Well, NPCs. I'm in solo play at the moment. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm collecting bounties. So all these NPCs are wanted, and what I do is when I kill them, I get I get the bounty for them. 127,000 credits. He's clean. Hey, hey, well, what's going on, man? We're just blasting some bad guys. I gotta find. I gotta find a, uh, a way to make a little bit more money, though. flying with the cops right now. Who's he shooting? That's a vulture. Seventy one thousand credits. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. No worries.
There's an anaconda right behind him. Offline. Get him. Nice, two hundred seventy thousand credits. Hey nine, how you how you doing, man? I don't know anything about this game, dude. I'm just I'm doing bounties, like. Yep, like dog the bounty hunter. It was. Well, that sucks. Sounds like by Chicago. Oh, really? Oh, shit. That sucks. Alright, hang on, guys. Yeah, K9, man, I... I don't know, dude. I, I was told when I first got in-game to find these res sites, resource extraction sites. Right here, high and low. At a sta uh, just go to a station or you know if um, all they have is just regular resource extraction sites fly close to a nearby moon or planet and then look in your navigation tab again until you find one that says high or low and you go to the asteroid belt and look for you know oh wait hey nine do you play this game you said kappa I got a shitty memory, dude, so I have a feeling you play the game. Oh, okay. What? Oh, God. He's clean. He's clean. Dangerous. Oh, is that another anaconda? Oh, and it's dead. Dang it. Go check him out. Oh, he's clean too, damn it. Did I lose him? Yeah, he's gone.
You could join Mobius, which is a PvE private group where PvP is bannable. Oh, really? Oh, uh, no! I never thought about I never thought about there being private you know groups with rule sets different rule sets oh shit what the hell was that Mobius is the biggest. Oh, okay. I'll have to check him out. That's cool. A bit tricky to find. Oh, I got gotcha. Kind of a hit from that one. Now, what are these ships? Are those? Oh, those are anacondas. Okay. Night, babe. An anaconda. <clears throat> Shit, no. Whoa. Like leaning over in my seat here. Damn, 251,000. Hell yeah. We got more fighting. Oh, 
Uh, maybe not. Oh, where the hell did he go? All right, he's clean. Where did El Grog go? He was right there. Got Keith Wells. He's wanted. Oh no! 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 Wait a minute, that ship only cost 710000 to replace? Yeah, I, I blowed up, dude. Wait a minute. Wait, so a 20-some million ship only cost, cost 710000 to replace, huh? Well then, okay. Yeah, I got blown up good. I feel like he killed me really, really easily. <laughs> Bad thing is I lost all my bounties. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, try it. Try it, man. Oh, I got a permit app uh, acquisition opportunity. What's the serious system? Oh, 
How do I accept? Damn, yeah, he kicked my ass, dude. Lucifer. Have any mail? Oh. Do I just not have the standing for that permanent mission? Oh yeah, requirements not met. I see. All right. I've only got like, like eight cargo space in this thing. That's where the python would come in handy. I feel like I should take my transporter and just go make my money. Oh, that's so boring to watch though. Oh god. You know what I mean? Do the sothis. The CS runs. Oh, man. I don't think I can, but see, I don't think I can, I don't think I can do bounties for, what, another 30 mil? I gotta find a way to, I gotta find a way to make more money. It isn't bounties. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be cycling missions. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my hauler anymore. I accidentally sold it. get a keel back get a keel back and go do we'll do missions 42 tons
The federal dropships only 14 million? Huh. It's 56 tons of cargo capacity. Oh, six, six light year range. Jesus. That's a million. See here. Let's see.
Recuperate. What's that dark? Oh, I got you. I got you. Alright. Oh, did they? Oh, nice. All right, I'm going. Oh shit. Wait a minute, that's not what I wanted to do. Fire groups.
Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to do, yeah. jumps <clears throat> yeah I think we're gonna do some uh, some shady uh, south of CEOs runs next time we play I want to get into something um, it's more well-rounded like uh, something where I'm not doing bounties the entire time I play. I don't know what that is I'm not sure how we're gonna what we're gonna do, but I'd like to do a mix of exploration, and maybe mining. I want a, a couple activities. I'd like to. I'd like. So B4. I guess maybe you can help me with this next time. What I'd like to do is set out and do a couple things at the same time. So like explore a little bit, maybe stop off and mine some things, and sell to stations as I'm exploring, maybe. And I mean, exploring the human bubble, right? Because I gotta have stations to sell to. And I could, should I do that in a python? Do a discovery scanner, SRV, some mining things, you know? Yeah, because I'm not feeling doing the bounties all the time. That's that's not really my thing. It's fun for a while, but yeah. I'd like to really geek out and, you know, see some cool stuff. Maybe mine while I'm out there, you know. I know ultimately fitting an anaconda as an exploration ship would be optimal, but... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a conflict zone out there.
I gotta change this HUD color too. I don't know, can you get the Python's jump range up enough to actually make it somewhat okay explorer slash do a little mining? I don't, I don't know. Or would that be what I want an anaconda for? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, try to post a link in in Twitch. It, my bot shouldn't stop it. So B4, do you think that like if I outfit a Python for mostly uh, exploring, I could I could do you know fuel scoop, SRV, a couple mining lasers, maybe a little cargo thing in there, just to do sort of like not long range exploration, but within the human bubble, maybe. Land, mine a few things, stop at a station, sell what I mine, you know. Not to make money, but to, to like, just explore, you know, play the game. Maybe explore and, you know, maybe mine a few things on planets. Oh, okay, because I, I, I'm trying to think of, like, two things at least that I can do at the same time. So, like, explore a bit, go out there, mine a bit, you know while I'm exploring, maybe stop off at a station, sell what I mine, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe, maybe pick up a passenger or something and take them on a thing, you know? But I'm just, I'm looking, because I can do these little shady runs to get enough money to get a Python fitted, bought and fitted. And then just go out and kind of explore things, land on planets, take screenshots, that kind of thing. Because this is what I used to do in EVE. I, I, you know, I would just fly around, look at the different planets, read the information about them, you know. Maybe stop off and blast a few uh, asteroids. I would like to get my soul permit, but eh, that'll have to wait. There's lots of other things to see. I hope they don't gate the trapper system. I want to go to the trapper system, dude. Once, once it's converted over. Probably. Can can you do passenger miss missions in a Python? Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get the, this. I gotta get a Federal Navy mission, man. We need to refuel badly. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm good with the Python then. So I could do 
passenger missions, some basic exploration, and maybe equip a mining laser to shoot some rocks. I tried mining before, dude, and nothing, like, really happened. I was able to shoot the asteroid and things flew off, and I, I managed to scoop it, but there's got to be a better way to mine. Is that what mining limpets are for? Damn, this thing had eat some fuel. Oh, okay. Mining limpets, okay. Now, are mining limpets and prospector limpets... Collector limpets and prospector limpets, are, that, are those like uh, ammunition? They wear out? I really want to get my head wrapped around the mining in this game. I don't want to do anything like super crazy. You know what I mean? I'd like to wrap my head though around the whole mechanics of mining though and get it down. Because I think it would be a lot more fun than in Eve. Of course, in Eve, you can mine while you work <laughs> or watch Netflix. I guess, I guess you can't. Can you do that here with those extra things? Can you semi semi AFK mine? Yeah, Dark, this is one of those games, it does take some time to get used to it, yeah. Yeah, it's... But, the more... It, it is one of those games that the more I learn about it, the more satisfied I am. With my time in it. I like learning, learning new things, that's why I want to learn about mining, because that's one aspect of this game that I've never done. Oh, the docking? Yeah, the docking's kind of interesting. Is that what I don't I've never done the new player tutorial. Is that what it is? You you try to dock in a station? It's tricky. I can land pretty good now. Oh, oh. Dropping out of um, super super cruise or whatever, right? Whatever it's called, like dropping out. Yeah. So, in the you, you got to keep it in the blue, right? And you'll see the distance and the time to arrival meter. Like, uh, it'll, it'll as you get close and there's less time remaining. You want to see see on my my HUD here, lower right of my of my radial HUD there. It, there's little four bars or not four bars there's bars there and i'm trying to keep it in the bright blue like right in the middle you want to kind of keep it in there as you watch your your time countdown and and your distance go down and then it'll say safe disengage available um and then when it says that you hit v i believe uh it's called the loop of shame <clears throat> Uh, I can't point, I can't move my mouse at it, but you see on my radial HUD there in the middle bottom of my screen, you see that gauge of bright white uh, there, there's a blue line. As I hit S, 
it's going down. There, um, just to the left of that little line that I'm, I'm adjusting by W and S, just to the left of that, there's little blue pips, little blocks. You want to keep it like right in the middle. So if I do this, if I scroll up and I'm, I'm above the middle, I'm going too fast, right? So I want to back off. And as you get closer to your station, you want to keep it nice and right in the middle of that um, so that you don't overshoot. And then when it says safe disengage available, hit V and uh, you will drop out right on top of the station. Once you get that down and then landing, that's that's definitely a good start. Practice um, super cruise, hyperspace jumping or whatever, super cruising, whatever it's called, the multiple stations in the system to practice that, yeah. Yeah, but that was one, I, I did the loop of shame so many times, man, because I didn't get the speed. I didn't understand how the speed, like as you get closer, your, your distance, time to arrival and your distance is going to, how it's decreasing, how fast it's going down is going to slow down. But that's okay because you're not, that means you're not going to overshoot. Like if you, when, when I get the, these jumps done, you'll see, I'll, I'll have to land at uh, Sotha Station. You'll, you'll get to see that. I was just really low on fuel, so I gotta fill up real quick here. And it's funny too, because like, the runs that I'm gonna be doing next time I play this, it's just jumping back and forth from one system to the next and back and forth, and like really tricky docking. You gotta like go in and, I think you gotta fire your heat sinks or go into silent running mode or something. I think there's a way to do it not in silent mode. You just zoom in and land real quick, and you pop your heat sinks if, uh, before they can detect you. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but once you do it a few times, it's actually easy. I usually opt to, what you do is you get like you get like nine, nine, nine km out, right? From the mail slot is what they call it. The mail slot is the hole in the station that you fly into. And what you do is um, you line up perfectly, if I recall correctly, and boost. And when you see the ship scan detected, you do your heat sink, I think it is. No, you go into silent mode and then pop heat sinks. Because when you're in silent mode, you overheat. Ha ha ha, Nigma. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what it is. You you go in, you see, see ship scan detected, you turn go into silent mode, silent running mode, so you start to overheat, you pop your heat sinks if you get in trouble, and you land as quick as you can. Apparently it's possible to just go in slow and not, not get scanned, I think, but I usually just go and try to cruise in quick and land. But you can make millions per run doing it. That's the thing. So that's why it's, you know... It's it's lucrative. That's why it's worth doing. And those missions apparently aren't always available. I think there's, like, things that happen in those systems that keep you from getting those missions. But I'm hoping that, you know, over the next few days I can go and they'll be available and I can cycle through the different play modes to get up, just to stock up on them. That's how I got like almost 60 mil just doing those doing those runs. Ten jumps. <laughs> yeah, and well, and that's the thing. I mean, it's once you do it a few times, you know, it, it's 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 not bad. 
You should have seen me in this game trying to land on a, um, a landing pad. Oh my god, dude. And it, it even had auto assist, like auto landing assist. And it was still just a nightmare, dude. I eventually got it, though. Now I can land pretty good. Enough to where when I do those, you know, transport missions, I can zoom in and, and land real quick. Nothing like docking in Hellion, though, that's for sure. But I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to save our money and get a python. Because I'm not, yeah, I'm not really feeling the bounty mission. That's not really why I play, play games like this. Oh, Jesus, Itrick, I'm watching your messages. <laughs> oh, Christ. Hang on, let me read that. I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to die in the remote part of space here. Oh, God. Five km out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot my measurements. Let me let me do this jump here, and then I'll, I'll read that. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna copy and paste that out because I haven't done those runs in a while, man. I appreciate that. Okay, turn silent running on, 5k amount, lined up, only use heat sick if uh, needed, right? Okay. Usually you can get into the station fast enough to turn shields back on without a heat sink. Also, don't forget to leave stations with silent running on as well. Uh, right? <laughs> That's right. So, the heat sink, when you go into silent running, you're turning your shields off, right? So then you start to overheat. So you leave the station in silent running, you, you back up, line up, turn silent running on, and burn for the burn for the mail slot, right? And if you need it, use a heat sink, which is why I need to separate my two heat sinks on separate uh, fire groups, right? Right now they're both on one, and I, I I shouldn't do that, right? So I need to separate my heat sinks. See what I mean, though, Dark? It's that's. I mean, it helps to be a streamer, you know, because people come in and say hi and chat and want to help you out. But I mean, these these guys and gals, man, have taught me all kinds of stuff about this game. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, you know what I'll probably do? I'll have one fire group. I, I don't really need my lasers. What I'll probably do is I'll have a fire group with uh, a heat sink on primary and a heat sink on secondary. Let's keep it simple. There you go. Yeah, I mean, why not, Dark? Well, watch me some more Star Trek tonight. I've been on this really big, like, Star Trek and sci-fi kick lately, lately. A lot of people don't like Enterprise, but I actually like, uh, I like that series. I wish it would have went on a little bit longer. I can't really complain, though. I mean, the original Star Trek was only, what, three seasons? And Enterprise went on, went for four. I'm really looking forward to the new series, but I heard they're going to gate it behind, like, a premium subscription to, like, some website, like Amazon or some shit. Or CBS Live or whatever the hell station that it's going to be on. Like, they're going to they're gonna stream the first episode, right? But then you got to pay to watch the rest of them or some shit. Oh, yeah, Itrick. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, it's... It it sucks. I, I I think Enigma was telling me about that. They're gonna somehow they're gonna they're gonna live stream through via Netflix, you know, the first episode. But then you got to go through Netflix and have some sort of a whatever channel it is Prime membership to watch watch it online, watch the rest of them. Now don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do it. I mean, but I don't 
I don't think that it's going to last very long, just because, you know, the way people are these days, I don't know if that if it's going to make it, but I'll still watch it. What is it called? I think it's called Star Trek Discovery or something like that. I can't remember. Can't remember how many refuelable st refuel stars we actually had on the way. Yeah, we'll do these runs until we get, you know, enough for a python, and then we'll set it up to be sort of a explorer slash little mini miner, you know. I can just get out of my ship in EVA. Holy crap. That's what I'm saying. All these damn games have amazing shit. If they can just smash them all together. Smash them all together. I agree. I agree, Atric. Yeah, I agree. I'll watch it one way or the other. But you're right. I mean, why, why do that? Like, my buddy Enigma, who's in the stream now, is telling me that YouTube is looking to get into TV. Right? I mean, I, I don't know. All, the, all this, this, these internet options for viewing stuff what that's going to end up meaning for cable, you know, like your, your typical television. Well, now it's typical TV viewing, but it used to be just a, a TV set in your living room with your local channels when I was a kid. And look what cable's done to that. And I think, you know, we're going to see some, some transitions with the way, you know, people view stuff. We already have, you know, but God, if YouTube gets into TV, holy crap. nuts. I know back in the day, right? I remember trying to stick pennies in my cable box buttons to try to watch squiggly uh, channels. I never found out if that worked. That was an urban legend or what, but... Yeah, right? No shit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at one point I had a cable box with a knob on it. I mean, knobs, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. One more way to cram those stupid ads down our throat, right? Got four jumps. Need to be careful. I don't want to run out of fuel. That would suck. Friendship drive charging. Yeah, right. Yeah, we had we had a, back when I was when I was a little kid, we had a TV when TVs were actually pieces of furniture in your house. Oh, so, yeah. Hey, Trick, thank you for that follow, man. I appreciate that. And and the the refresher course on the uh, the silent running, man. I appreciate that follow, dude. Yeah, that thing was built like a Mack truck.
Yeah, seriously. Huge, dude. Had the three, the red, green, and red, green, and blue, like, little dots on it to let you know that it was a TV, like, in color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be 38 in uh, a few days. Like, uh, what is this? Tomorrow's the first, like seven days. Are you really Blitzen? Bro, I don't know, man. I don't want to be 40, dude. I don't want to be 40. I'll be I'll be 38, man. I'm going to have to start taking my driver's test, my my on the road test every time I get I renew it soon. Not really, but it feels like it. <laughs> I would kill to be 28 again. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man. I would kill to be 28. Wait, what was I doing when I was 28? Um, 14 years. No, I would, yeah, I'd want to, I'd, I'd want to be 28 again. <laughs> oh, shit. See trick, we have fun in here. <laughs> Did you hear us in Discord? Well, hear them. I just laugh at them. Oh, Jesus. I can't scoop this, can I? Nah, I didn't think so. That's a cool looking star, though. How many jumps do we got? Two jumps to Sothis? Alright. We'll pick up from there, probably tomorrow. Well, it depends on what the patch is for Hellion. That's, yeah, that's a fair point, Enigma. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be releasing a patch tomorrow, so we're going to have to see what's up with Hellion. See if things are still glitchy as shit. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm sure that takes a toll on a body, man. Good lord. So we should be, yep, we got one more jump to Sothis. Let's refuel a little bit, and then I gotta remember what station to go to. Alright, Itrick, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I've been gone for a while. I'm trying to relearn some of this stuff. I got enough fuel to get there. I gotta say, I really do like this game's take on navigation and traveling and fuel scooping and stuff like that. It's 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 kind of nice. My back is killing me. I know, I know, I shouldn't talk, Enigma. Oh. All right. All right, new home station. What, dark, watch this. I'll, I'm going to do exactly what you were talking about. We'll go to the new home station here. Watch me mess it up, dude. No, Itrick, I haven't done anything engineer-wise. engineer, engineer wise. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Uh, I was talking with B4 in the stream earlier about getting a Python and setting it up to do some exploration. Uh, get the SRV, the scanner 
maybe some mining limpets or whatever and a, and a mining laser just to kind of do multiple things at once you know just go out explore a bit shoot some asteroids um stop off at a station sell what i mine you know on the planet or on you know in space and then move on to the next zone um is that something i can do like is can could i do the engineer stuff with with an activity like that you know just stop off and and, and visit them get the upgraded stuff I don't know how any of that works. Okay, so watch this. See, dark. I kind of, I'm kind of keeping it in the middle because I'm 44 seconds out. It's going down kind of slow. I don't want to bump it up too fast. I could, but I don't. You know, I don't. I'd rather just not overshoot it. See, it's down to 25 seconds. Kind of watching it, backing off, hitting S. You know, if I overshoot this, I'm gonna be so pissed. Back off a bit. Wait, don't wait if you're doing Sothis runs. You can get 50% farther on your jumps. Oh shit. What do you mean, Etric? Yeah, I'm not following you. Alright, see, we kept it in the blue dark. It's gonna say disengage ready momentarily. Speed up just a minute. Just a sec here. Staying at about six seconds out. But my distance is going down still. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got you. So I'm going to have to Google where to go to get the... Oh, now see my little... I've got one pip right there in the middle. V, safe disengage available. Bam. Hit V. Right there. There we go. Lacon, Tango, Oscar, Mike. It's a pleasure to have you at this federal station. Okay, hey, we're within 8K, so we're going to do contact. Uh, new home station request docking. Authorization cleared. Proceed to landing pad 07. 07. Go. Reports of heavy traffic within the area. Maintain safe clearance distance. Deploy landing gear. 1,000 meters from touchdown. I mean, at first, yeah, but... You know, once you learn the basics, I mean, the inner space geek in you, you know, should be satisfied. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, so so for example, my Asp Explorer jumped 25 light years before visiting. Now you have it jumping 40 light years. Holy Landing crap! Landing completed. Ground crew has been dispatched. Enjoy your stay at the facility, Commander. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was thinking about going with the Python, so I so it's kind of versatile, you know. Uh, the only thing is, so, hang on. I'm sure there's not an Asp Explorer here. No, I didn't think so. Alright. You had your trade python jumping 30 light years unladen, 20-ish laden. Now, is that with the engineer? Oh, the engineer thing? 
Yeah, I'm not sure I want to get hardcore into trading. Um, really, just kind of exploration, but bring some stuff along to, you know, just mine a little bit so I can get used to the mining aspect of the thing, of the game, you know? Um, I don't know, we'll see. That was with the engineer? Okay. I'm not going to do one of these just right now, but I just want to see what they have. Uh, I forget. What was the indicator for the runs that, uh, for the runs that I want? It's, um, Dest Destination Seos or Sothis, depending on where I'm at. And it's, is it Smuggle? No, that's not it. There was something that indicated whether I should take the mission or not. Let me see. Yeah, I know. It'd be like, uh, think of it this way. So as I'm exploring, I find a cool looking rock and as I'm driving around, I, I shoot some stuff and I, I get a rock, put it in my cargo, right? Um, it would be like, I would hit up, I would hit up a station around there basically, sell it and then move on. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be for like uh, profitability. The mining would just be sort of a side thing I do to make me feel more immersed, I guess, so to speak. It wouldn't be like, yeah, I wouldn't be mining just to, to make money. You know, it'd be like if, you know, the away team on the Enterprise went down to a cool looking planet and they scanned it and got all their data, but then they found some cool samples, you know, and took it and, you know, sold it at the next station or something, you know. Yeah, I used to screw up on these, dude, and I'd take the wrong missions, and they'd send me to another system where I had to wait and get the next mission and all this stuff, but it's it's not that. It's literally between Sothis, Sothis and Seos. Uh, let's see. You have to, you used to have to cycle these, or not used to, you still, I guess you still have to cycle them a lot. Oh, that's right! Before we talked about passenger missions, yes. So I can explore while I'm doing passenger missions, right? That would be two things. That's two things that I could be doing at the same time, yeah. Yeah, passenger missions and exploration. Some of those passenger missions take you a long way. Uh, Itrick, let me go ahead and copy out that tip that you gave me, that refresher. One sec. Notepad. Bird wrap. Okay. Really? Okay. All right. What's this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me go ahead and bookmark that. Seems a lot like even the, in the fact that I need I need to save a lot of information. Oh God, where's my Elite Dangerous bookmark folder? Oh, I've got so many bookmarks, Jesus. We'll we'll make another one because I don't know where it's at. Okay, all right, that's saved. Thank you for that, I appreciate that. 
So we need to learn, okay, so we need to learn about passenger missions and get money to get our python. Oh, I know, right, Rust Bomb? Do it, okay, do uh, at least do one of the FSD engineers before you head out, save you a lot of time. So, talk to Felicity or Elvira. They are both fairly easy to unlock. Oh, no worries, Russ Bob. The only thing is, so I don't know how to talk to these people. That's that's the problem. I, I don't know... I don't know how to talk to them. An SRV module can roam planets and find stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, you don't have to mine. You don't have to technically do the mining. You just take your SRV down, and that has the little... You can put the refinery, or it has a refinery or something, doesn't it? Oh, okay. So I could technically be finding stuff, exploring the, the, the moons and stuff, and then also doing passenger missions. That sounds good. Sounds good. You said go to the right panel and click Engineer. Okay. See, Dark? Lots to learn, man. It's it's more than just, you know, flying around and, <laughs> you know, going from system to system. That's, that's for sure. All right, you said go to the right panel uh, and click Engineer. Uh... Is this wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair point. That makes sense, Itrick. Yeah. Um, oh, view engineers. Whoops. Felicity or Elvira? Damn it. All right. Hang on one sec. Let me get my little document up here again. Elvira. Oh, shit. I just dated myself. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm just saving that information. Uh, okay, so Felicity. Frameshift drives, engines, and thrusters. That's the one I would want. 562 light years away? So I need to, uh, one, so, okay. So when I get my Python, well, I'm not gonna buy the Python here, right? Because all the stuff isn't here, or like close by. So I'll see which is closest, the place to buy. Wait, do you have to take the, the ship that you're upgrading to the engineer to do the work on it? So I would need to go get the Python first and then take it to her, or how does that work? Oh, so fulfilled your initial contract for providing the unit of meta alloys. Uh, does she send me a mail or something? You need to take the ship to her. So head down to Maya. Do you buy the meta alloys just, you know, from a ship there? Okay, you said, okay. Uh, okay, so let me see if I get this right. I go to her, and then she'll tell me where to go to get the meta alloys, then I get them, bring them back, 
Then I then I go and get my sh and I and, I, and then I, I come back to her with my ship and she'll upgrade it. Oh, the one that she's on, the one that she's on. Oh shit! Okay. So all right, so Felicity. And the planet's called Maya? Is it M-A-I-A? -A? In the Dassiet system. Okay, using the Python and SRV. What, talk to her first? Now, is that like super far from Sothis and Seos? Like. Oh, okay. So, head. Okay. That's not where she's at. Head. To... Get the meta alloys. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> Using the Python with SRV. Head to Maya to get the meta alloys that you give to Felicity. Okay. She had a base. Okay. Also, look up the Felicity tutorial on YouTube. Okay, cool. Alright, so we need. Okay. So we'll work on the missions, making money on the other side of the bubble. Oh crap. And I buy, like you said, somebody, one of you guys said earlier, I can just buy it, right? I just wanted to see one of these damn missions real quick so I knew what I was looking for. It's been so long. Silent running, get the hell out of the station. Heat sink if I overheat. Get 5k out. Light up. Don't request docking, right? Go in in silent mode. Use heat sink if I have to. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Show me one, one mission that I'm looking for so I know what to keep an eye out for. Nope. That's smuggling, but that's not what I want. Oh, okay. Is it possible that I need to be in, in Seos to get the mission? Like, they just may not have any here? Smuggle units of battle weapons for the fun of it. <laughs> and I think the other thing I did was I would get the get the the mission right for whatever it was a million credits or something like that, and then take stack the data missions right, going to the same station. And you rank up with engineers, okay. Damn, I'm gonna have to go soon, guys. This sucks. Let's see if, if we can find it this time here.
Uh, all right, let's see here. Is that the data delivery? Now I can't remember those really the ones where you do these do these runs right in silent mode that you weren't hauling actual it was just data wasn't it you weren't hauling physical cargo that I had to like buy and stuff right one here that's the heck hecate heck heck hecate i don't know nah see that's no that's 424 light years the ones i'm looking for just send me to co's oh i'm not no that's not what i want I don't know, maybe I'll fly to, maybe I'll fly to, um, yeah, the ones that I'm looking for are, like, um, shady runs. You, like, you run, it's, like, data or something. Uh, I forget what it was, but you run it from CEOs to Sothis and, and vice versa. But they don't always have the missions, so you have to cycle through them. Um... I learned it from another streamer. And I was doing it, it was making pretty good money, but that's the thing, they don't always have those missions. That's the issue. Well, I'll figure it out tomorrow. I'll cycle through. Because I would always I would also do the um I'd also do the data missions too. It was like something like this, but it it, it wasn't uh yeah. They're very specific ones that were over a million each. But uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll cycle through. Um, probably tomorrow. I'll I'll fly to I'll fly to um, Ceos and see if it's got if it's got some missions. And I do remember somebody telling me that there were times where those missions weren't available. Like, people would do something to the station or some something, and they weren't available. But I don't recall if that meant that there were no mission givers for that kind of stuff, or, or if, you know, the missions just didn't pop up. I, I don't know. But I do know that you, I used to have to, I used to have to cycle modes a lot. light years I mean that's one that I could take I wonder if those if they got rid of those missions hmm I don't know I'll figure it out though. I'm gonna go ahead and take off, guys. I'll, I'll take a look at that tomorrow. I'll I'll fly over to uh, to Cios, and I'll cycle through the missions for a while and see if any of those pop up. And if nothing else, you know, I can maybe try to do some of the shorter, high and payout ones and do the data delivery ones. You know, so. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I'll try to find a discount a discount one because you can save quite a bit of money on those too. Yeah. Yep. Take it easy, Dark. Take it easy, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mute the mic. Thank you for hanging out. And guys, uh, 
thank you for all the information on Elite. I learn something new every time I play or I get a nice refresher course. So <laughs> I'll be on tomorrow night, barring any real life stuff coming up. I usually try to be here every night except for Sunday and Monday. So, um, you know, check and see what I'm streaming. You know, maybe I'll be streaming this. I, I'm, I might be streaming some Hellion depending on what the patch is like. We'll see. Uh, or maybe I'll finally get to play a little more Archage. So <laughs> take it easy. It was nice meeting you, Itrick and B4. I'll see, you, see the rest of you guys tomorrow. Good night.